I have been watching a lot of Beck movies. It's a part of my childhood. <laughs> no, uh, but yes, <laughs> in fact it is. Beck is the mothership of Scandinavian noir. It's the longest living franchise there is in Scandinavia. Everybody knows about Beck in Sweden, like even if you don't watch it. Uh, as a kid, my best friend was watching every episode of Beck. I used to watch Beck uh, since I was a kid, actually. It was a family gathering every Sunday. <laughs> it was a little bit too late and too scary. Uh, but we uh, looked at Beck together. Uh, so it was uh, quite fun to, to get the phone call. Do you want to play Jenny in Beck? <laughs> yes, I want. Igen. Altså, du vet at denne kantinen er bare for poliser. Sivilister, de må ette på stan. <laughs> A big part of the new audience of Beck, they weren't even born when we first released Beck 20 years ago. It's even bigger now than it was 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Martin, jeg tror at du sitter og trykker på en berättelse som behöver komme ut. I wouldn't say that Beck could survive for another 20 years, I don't know, but it, but it is a classic. It is a, the, the, it is a really, really strong brand. Martin Beck. I started in Beck around uh, 2005, I would say, uh, the first uh, movie. When I started in, in Beck, it was uh, <laughs> a very special I think because I was just in between Beck and Gunwald. In the previous films there was the, the relationships between the police was based on the, the relationship between Martin Beck and Gunwald. But we wanted to extend this more within the group. Privata bekymmer. Vill du prata om det? Nej, det handlar inte om mig. Du har inga privata bekymmer. Nej. Inga. I think the writers and the producers felt we have to give more flesh to the characters. So this story between, don't want to spoil anything, but between Oscar and Jenny, as an example, I think that's beautiful. In the new season, uh, we have a scene where uh, Oscar and Jenny is having a dinner and uh, Jenny thinks it's because we're friends and we're gonna hang out and stuff, but Oscar is, uh, <laughs> he has other plans. Bakis, eller? Nej, nej då. Jag, jag mår bra. Tack för igår. Ja, tack själv. Får vi göra om det? Ja, verkligen. We wanted to, uh, to focus more on the relationships uh, uh, overall, I mean the relationships within the, the group of, of uh, police, but also focus on the the guest characters of the uh, films. What kind of relationship do you have with Josefine? The relationship... We have no relationship so, we have a professional relationship. You don't meet private? No, You say about humans that when you pressure them to the, to, 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 the, to the extent of their limits, that's when you see who they are. Do you know that everything in our life is about the job you didn't get, about your chef that you hate? Do you know that you don't do it? That's my fault that you were too tired. We did a scene where um, uh, Steinar and uh, the new character Alex was um, they're having a bit, a bit of a beef who actually, Steiner wants to be the boss of the group, but Alex now is the boss of the group. I had many female colleagues, Alex. But there's no one over you, or I think she's smarter than Steiner. She's not so hands-on like Steiner. She's more like, you know, thinking first and acting afterwards. It's funny and it's interesting because it's kind of like this, uh, Feminist, like, is it is it is is the woman right? Is the man right? Så konstigt vore väl inte att han åker ut till hennes hus och försöker tala henne till rätta. Hörni, vi löser inte det här idag. Jag ser bara att det är så jävligt lätt att göra en typ som han till syndebucken. I think that what it comes around to is none of them are like right 100 percent, and it's interesting that it's uh, they're both kind of right. We needed the series needed. Uh, a woman in a big, big part. 
it's always something happening between a man and a woman. Even if it's not love or sex, but they have different views on everything. Just because I'm a man, Alex is a woman. And that can, if we shoot it right, be rather interesting, we think, we hope. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The thing I love about Beck is that it takes it takes people seriously. It's not good people or bad people or black or white. I love the, the themes and the, uh, the scripts of these uh, four new films. Jenny gets a big part in the movies and me as an actor too. So it, it becomes more and more fun. The success of Beck in America, I'm really surprised. I didn't know that, but I'm very glad to hear that. And I really hope that it will continue. It will always be interesting to, to follow uh, Beck and this group, so I think it would always be interesting to see Beck in one year or two years or ten years.